What do you get when you combine a passionate and veteran sports writer with a wife who is a casual observer? The answer, Mary to the game. This landmark sports talk radio show discusses sports from a married couple's perspective. Married to the Game with Rory and Lakita begins right now. Yeah. What's going on, good peoples? My name is Rory Chirac. And I'm Lakita Chirac. And this is Married to the Game. You know what? Before we go any further, I want to take the time to thank our listeners for tuning in every week to us. You know, they're thank faithful. You. Thank you guys so much for all the the likes, the shares, the retweets, all of that good stuff. It means the world to us, and we do not take it for granted. No, we don't. But you know what, though? What's up? We're moving on up like George and Wheezy. This is our 12th episode. I'm a big fan of the Jeffersons. Did you know? Yeah. The Jeffersons lived in apartment 12D. 12th episode, Apartment 12D. (laughs) Is that too much of a stretch? A stretch? Oh, my goodness. That's like a rubber band stretch, babe. (laughs) Okay. Well, we finally got our piece of the pie. Yep. You know I want a big slice like that island pecan pie I made the other day. (gasps) Woo! That's what I'm talking about, babe. Thank you so much for that. Whoever knew that if you took pineapples and coconuts and pecans and or pecans, whatever, wherever you're from, and put it all together, that man... All right, huh? That's what... Speaking of food, we all enjoy top-tier cuisine. You love Mexican food. Yes, I do. I love some chicken quesadillas with roasted corn salsa, breakfast burritos, enchiladas, Mexican-style chili. I could go on and on, but you know what? I'm getting hungry. Well, for me... I love seafood because it covers all ethnic groups. I love seafood mixed with a good steak, too. So how about we go on a dinner date and eat some sports surfing turf? Dinner date, hon? Ah, that's what I'm talking about. My baby about to take me out. That juicy steak marinated with some college hoops. Yes. And we'll preview the Sweet 16 and hit the reset button on our first and second round picks. Our seafood menu includes coverage of the NCAA Swimming and Diving Championship. We also recap Atlanta in the spring, a hunters and jumpers competition at Chattahoochee Hills Equestrian Center. All of that information was just a delicious appetizer. That's just the tip. It. But I got room for the main entree and dessert. Folks, Your RSVP has been confirmed. Pull up a chair. Join us for a hearty meal of sports, surf, and turf. Bon appetit from Married to the Game. All right. Question for you. What's up? Is it March Madness or March Sadness? The Sweet 16 tips off Thursday. Now, we're excited now because it's the Sweet 16. Yes, but we're gloomy because, well... We'll hit the replay button to explain. Kansas State and Wake Forest. Mm-hmm. And we're on the same page here. We both got Wake Forest to win that ball game. In the 8-9 matchup, mm-hmm. Arkansas and Seton Hall. Come now, on. Who you going with? Who you going I'm with? going with Arkansas. <laughs> All right. And I know you're going with Arkansas because you're a homer. Come on, because I'm a homer. Eight and nine matchups are a coin flip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now, where I think I need to have you committed mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is the second round game, Arkansas against North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And you're rolling with... Come on now. Loyalty, baby. Loyalty, baby. Arkansas. Razorbacks, hogs all day. You have, in the second round, Wake Forest knocking off... UCLA. They have to. You have Wake Forest, Mm -hmm. then beating Kentucky Mm -hmm. in the Mm -hmm. Sweet 16. So the Elite Eight matchup is Arkansas and Wake Forest. I know. You see how the stars aligned. My final four. Mm -hmm. Villanova, Mm -hmm. Gonzaga, Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. Michigan, mm-hmm. and North Carolina. My national championship game is a rematch, Villanova versus North Carolina. Your final four, the novice. Shoot. All right. Duke in the east, Florida State coming from the west, Kansas Midwest in the south, Arkansas, the final four, folks. But going head to head, Duke, Blue Devils versus Arkansas Razorbacks, and we all know who will take it, Arkansas. Baby. Tough loss for your Razorbacks. Tough loss. You had them going all the way to cutting down the nets as national champions. All the way. And they were up by five against Carolina late in the second half, three minutes left. Yes, yes. That wool pick Suey wasn't hitting it. Then After they went well. cold and got shut out. Yeah, but that's all good. That's all good. I'm, you know you know me. I'm loyal. So okay. Arkansas still, you know, in spirit. Then, Wake Forest. You know I got to get on you about that. All they right. didn't even make it out the first all right. four. All right, all right, all right, moving on. Moving on. Mo- moving on. I can't rip you too much because I had Villanova going back <laughs> to the national championship game. Yes, you did. And Wisconsin beat them. So... I got to, like, eat some crow from that standpoint. Eat it, baby. Here's something that's pretty interesting. First round action. You went 28 and 4 in the first round. Yes, sir. 8 and 8 in the second round. That's a total of 36 and 12. That's pretty good. Two games better than me because I went 25 and 7 in the first round. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Two what? Two games better than me. (laughs) Oh, buddy. I went 25 and 7 in the first (laughs) round. Nine and seven in the second round, so I'm 34 and 14 overall. So, so much for the theory of the so called expert beating the casual fan. Casual fans did better than you did, buddy. I did better. No, but here's no. where you can slow your roll because wait, wait, wait. it's no. really over for you with Arkansas winning the national championship. So, you threw, oh, yeah. you were practicing your jump shot, crumpling up your brackets. <laughs> And shooting them into the garbage can. I'm getting a little too excited already. Yes. You know what we're going to do? We'll play like the weekend warriors out on the golf course. All right. And we'll give ourselves a mulligan. That's a do-over. I was about to say, what is that? So here's our picks from the Sweet 16 all the way up to the national championship game. Ladies first. All right. So Wisconsin and Florida. Beyond a shout out doubt, I'm going with Florida because they're the orange state. Oranges, vitamin C. Vitamin C gives you energy. So that means they will have all the energy to beat Wisconsin. I'm going the opposite angle. I'm going with Wisconsin to beat Florida in the Sweet 16. Later on in that bracket, the East bracket, Baylor and South Carolina. The Baylor Bears are going down. I know I picked them to lose in the first round. Mm -hmm. I still have no faith in Baylor, and I'm rolling with South Carolina, the Gamecocks. I got a lot of folks out of South Carolina, so I'm pulling for the Gamecocks to pull off that upset win over Baylor. No, hon. No, no, no. Baylor is going to win because they're from Texas, and Texas does it bigger. So by default, Baylor's going to knock out South Carolina. So I'm going Baylor. All right. Let's move down to the West Bracket, Gonzaga and West Virginia. All right. Gonzaga has been near the top of the polls all season long. Yeah, they have. I had them in my original bracket, Mm -hmm. and I'm sticking with them, taking the Zags to beat out West Virginia. Now, I'm going with the Zags only because their name is complicated. (laughs) And when you got a complicated name, that means you've got a complicated game skills. And that means you're going to beat out your opponent because they're going to be so confused by everything that you do. So I'm going with the Zags, which is cool. So we're all on board with Gonzaga. Yeah. All right. Xavier in Arizona. Now, I picked Xavier to win in the first and second round. Mm -hmm. They upset Florida State in the Mm -hmm. second round. I'm Mm -hmm. keeping that theme rolling. No changes here. Uh Xavier to beat Arizona. Now, I did a little switch up. I'm going with Arizona because they're in the West. They deal with that heat. So they're going to bring the heat all day. And they're going to pull it out. Now we'll move over to the Midwest bracket. Come on. Kansas and Purdue. All right. Rolling with Kansas. 
had them beating out Purdue. This pick, Kansas-Purdue, I had originally. So no real do over here. Sticking with it. Going with the Jayhawks. Now, I had Kansas in my original. I'm sticking with them by default because, you know, Dorothy was from Kansas. Everybody wants to go home. I like that. So they're not ready to go home. I like that, so too. So they're going to pull it out, and they're going to be Purdue. Next in the Midwest bracket, Oregon and Michigan. All right. I had Michigan with the upset over Louisville, so I'll give myself a pat on the back there. Michigan is my sleeper Final Four team. I mm-hmm. like how they've just been bonding together. Mm-hmm. I'm taking Michigan to beat Oregon. Now, I'm going opposite. I took Oregon. Only by default, because I went with Michigan last time, and my casual fan judgment wasn't really working with me. So I'm switching it up, Oregon. Then in the South region, mm-hmm. the North Carolina Tar Heels. Who Come on. Beat your Arkansas Razorbacks. <sighs> got them still going on, because I picked North Carolina to be in the national championship mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. I picked North Carolina to win the national championship mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. Not going away from that. North Carolina is going to beat Butler. Now, I switched it up a little bit. I know I went with Arkansas. I'm loyal. But since they beat out my Hawks, I'm going to go with North Carolina to beat out Butler. Let's see what they do. Then, which I think is one of the prime games in the South region. You talk about history. You know how much of a history buff I am. Yeah. UCLA and Kentucky, two of the most prestigious programs in college basketball, period. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rolling with Kentucky Mm -hmm. to beat UCLA. I'm rolling with Kentucky to beat UCLA only because I like the Derby. So then it's Wisconsin, South Carolina in the Elite Eight out of the East. I'm taking South Carolina to represent the East in the Final Four. You got Baylor. Of course, of course. Representing the East out of the Final Four. You got to. Texas, do it big. Then the West region. Complicated school. Complicated city. Complicated title. Okay. They got that complex name so they're they got to be in the final four just by the name by default so we're both rolling with the zags to represent the west in the final four and then we got to bring dorothy on home so we're gonna go with kansas i'm rolling with michigan the maize and blue sticking with them and i got carolina of course coming out of the south to beat kentucky all right all right and then i got kentucky coming out of the south to beat north carolina I like that. And Mm -hmm. I am going to now pick Carolina Championship. South Carolina versus North Carolina. And the Tar Heels are going to win it. You got both Carolina states going against each other? North Cackalac versus South Cackalac. All right, now. Exactly. Rolling with the Tar Heels. Now, now mine. Of course, this is everybody listen up. You have to have the complicated title. Complicated, can't pronounce the name of the championship against Kentucky. Like Shalimar, this is our second time around. Let's see if we can do better on the remix of our picks. We'll keep the original two, but we hope we fare better with these selections. Now, by doing this A plus show, yes, I'm learning March Madness isn't limited to college basketball. That's right. The NCAA Women's Swimming and Diving Championship is in the books, and Stanford has added another piece of hardware to the trophy case. Stanford wins its first women's swimming and diving crown since 1998. This all went down in one of my old stumping grounds. Indianapolis, what's up, best friend? That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Go, best friend, go. What's up, Heather? Shout outs to Naptown. Now, this meet was held at the IU Natatorium on the campus of IUPUI. For all y'all people who didn't know, that's Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis. Stanford blew out the competition, winning nine of 21 events and scoring 526 and a half points. Now, Cal came in second with 366 points. Texas A&M rounded out the top three with 295 and a half points. Rounding out the 